have slurped three oceans dry. The vast sky alone remains out of my long reach. For I am trapped in this body which lacks wings, hands, and feet. I am the World Serpent. I am Jormungar. were killed by a fighter jet just like that one, fully equipped with the latest technology and a payload of laser-guided smart bombs. The people who invent weapons, who construct them, who sell them, who use them. I hate them. I will always hate them. So maybe this is God playing a twisted joke on me. Step lively, Officer Jonah. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Right, left, right, left. This is Coco Hekmatyar, a seller of weapons. Here I am, traveling with an arms dealer. All of my subordinates are here. Now that we've added you to the ranks, that makes a total of nine bodyguards. They're an odd bunch, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Normally, I'd give you more of a chance to settle in, but we don't have time for that. We've got a bit of a problem, you see, which is the reason we're stuck out here in the hinterlands of Eastern Europe. And you are going to help us resolve this problem. Think of it as an initiation to the unit. It'll give us a chance to assess your skills. Mao, Wiley. Sup, boss? And who's the little kid? Who? Him? Say hello to Jonah. He's the new recruit, a child soldier, and he's already packing heat. Damn. <laughs> no need to freak out, guys. Now, Tojo, will you explain our pickle so we're all on the same page? Hasn't really changed. The bastards have our container impounded at the port. The customs office want you to give them a call. My guess is they're going to demand a higher price than what we'd originally agreed to. They never planned on letting it through in the first place. You see the situation? The goods in that container belong to us, and we need to get them back. Okay? I don't really care about the big picture. All I need to know is who to shoot and where they are. Simple as that. Lem, Valmet, prepare to move out. Hop to! Miss Hekmatyar. I wonder if you understand just how deeply the contents of that container of yours will affect our country. I'm afraid I cannot allow it to fall into our government's hands. If you insist upon forcing the issue, I'll take whatever measures I must. You don't want to cross me, bitch. Funny, I was gonna say the same to you. Now then, 
Jonah, what do you think of your new team? Not a whole lot. A man of few words, huh? I did a good bit of research before taking you on. I know where you lived and where you fought. Your likes and your dislikes. I also know why you got booted from your last crew. You hate weapons, don't you, Jonah? Can't be bothered to answer? I'm not really much of a talker. I noticed. But that isn't going to cut it with this crew. So, what do you think so far? What, you mean about the new kid? Kinda hard to answer that question when I've barely even heard him talk. He's hiding something. Haven't figured out what yet. Uh, Coco could be in danger. I don't like the thought of her alone in a car with him. She's always this way with new recruits. Just too excited. No sense of caution. Anything happens to her and I'll kill the kid myself. Jeez, Lim, <coughs> can't you wait for your neck fix till we're out of the car? I'm suffocating here. Yeah, fine. You always do this. I'm gonna smell like a friggin' ashtray. Coco. He speaks! What is it? I assume this unit has an SOP for a tail? If you spot him, then you get to shoot him. No mercy, hard and fast! Got an armored hostile. Those were just scouts. The real firefight's still coming. There's a container at the port belonging to Coco Hekmatyar. She's an arms dealer. The Air Force cannot be allowed to get their hands on that shipment. Do you want to know what's inside? Enough kits to upgrade a full three squadrons of our primary fighter jets. With those, our aerial forces would be strong enough to challenge our neighbors. The balance of power would shift. If the military gets those upgrade kits, you can bet your ass they'll use them. And we both know nothing good will come of it. I want the police kept out of this, understood? A firefight? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I sent a special unit in to deal with Ekmatiar's people. If they make it to the port, the show's over. We lose. That'll be all. In the whole damn road. We need to get to Coco. They'll have her pinned in on both sides if we don't. That's probably what they're going for. Hang on. How close do you think you can get to that van? You serious? Hey, Coco, coming up on the left. Great, more of them? We will be happy to give you right to port, little girl. Boss Hot 6? Damn that old bureaucrat! in the rear took care of those trackers for us. We're probably still being followed, but hey, they're not shooting at us anymore. Don't think I didn't notice you calling me by name earlier. That's twice now. I like it. I think we're making Coco. real progress. Coco! I hope you... He's end of road for you! Bye-bye, arms dealer, bitch! Hold on! This will go on sky high! Any tank missile! <laughs> Was that a laugh? He'll be reloaded in 20 seconds. He can reload, but he's not gonna fire. All units pull back. Evacuate all personnel in the Hewlett bonded area port. Voskode 6, pull back. I repeat, Voskode 6, pull back. The 
military will get their shipment, and we'll be headed for war. I did what I could, but it's out of my hands now. You hate weapons as well as their dealers, yet how can you hope to achieve what you want without them? Let's say you killed me. That's one name off your list. But what then? Your job wouldn't be done until you took out the rest of my team. They may not look like much, but they're really very good at what they do. You couldn't kill them with your bare hands. No. You'd need a gun. You hate your weapon, but can you give it up? You know you can't. You'll spend the rest of your life with a gun in your hand. You may hate weapons more than anyone, but that doesn't matter in the end. Because you also know better than anyone how useful, how necessary they can be. Do yourself a favor and stick with me, okay? I deal in weapons, Jonah. I can show you how to live with your hate without giving up your gun. Why are you in the arms trade? For world peace, of course. Wake up, little guy. It's time for your rounds. Swap out with me. You're on with old man Lem. <gasps> Are you actually sleeping? It's cold, so dress warm. <sighs> I got a crash. Good morning. Good morning. Huh. I think this is the first time I've heard you ask a question. Let's see if I got this right. You want to know why a majorly badass mercenary who's been on the winning side of a hundred battles would want to take a job as a bodyguard for a chick arms dealer. I don't remember using the word badass. You've only been with the crew for a few days, so I get it. You'll see soon enough. But why did I take this gig? Because it's fun. That's my reason for being here anyway, though each member of the unit has their own. Give it some time, and I think you'll figure out what your reason is, too. You'll see what it means to be one of us. And you'll see that Coco is actually very... Uh... She's very... special. Coco, bathroom's back that way. Emergency! Three hours ago, a transport team crossed the northern border. If the intel I've got is correct, they're carrying 15 MI-24D attack helicopters, also known as Hind Ds. The helos have been dismantled and stuffed in with spare parts for concealment. Judging by the timing, it looks like somebody got wind of our recent success and decided they wanted a piece of the action. So now they're trying their hand at it. I know, stuff like this happens all the time. Unfortunately... Ugh... The info on this convoy came directly from headquarters. If we screw this up, it's gonna cost us big. Oh, big! 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 You see the way she's rolling around like that? It means this is serious. We need to deal with this toot sweet. First, we intercept their goods. But if they try to play hardball, we may have some obstacles to eliminate. So take a moment to prepare. Okay. Right, you guys are pros. You know what you're doing. Tojo, Valmet, you'll negotiate with National Defense. Lem, Ugo, Lutz, Mao, get your gear. You'll be my backup. Wiley, R, stay here and handle communications with the brass. Jonah, you're with me. Let's go! Yeah, Coco Hekmatiar here. We have a code orange. I repeat, code orange. Right. Da. Did you see about canceling the movers? Da, Mr. Kloshkin. Good. Well. In that case, you can go home. Good job today. C.K. Kloshkin? Yeah, an arms dealer. He's a freelancer based in Europe. But word has it he used to be in the intelligence community. 
I'm almost positive he's our guy. Did you tell Coco that he's a former spook? She could get hurt. You know how dangerous that type of dude can be. I didn't have to. She already knew. Besides, she and Jonah have five guys backing him up. Come on, Chief. If you're gonna worry about anybody, it should be me. Yeah, right. I know you can take care of yourself in a fight. Coco's the only one I'd ever risk my life for. Seriously? But what if we were up against, like, those agent guys in the Matrix? I'd wish you luck and get the hell out. <laughs> Here, Jonah, take this. I have my own. I know, it's a spare. I've heard some rumors and gotten more detailed intel from HQ. This guy is no prince. Not that many people in this business are. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's that? She said good hunting. It's been far too long. Hunting time. Boss can be extreme sometimes, and I like it. For the purposes of this meeting, you're not a soldier. Let me see here. That's it. You'll be my little brother. No matter what happens to me, keep up the act till I give the signal. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Kloshkin. I'm Coco Hekmatyar. Yes, Miss Hekmatyar of HCLI. I've heard of you. Forgive the mess, but I've just moved in. I'm afraid I do not even have a car to give you. Please, take a seat. I'll bring coffee. Perhaps the boy would like a soda? And who is this young fellow, anyways? Ah, your little brother, yes. <laughs> well, I think I have a fairly good idea why you're here. Let's talk. You're asking me to cancel the delivery of the Hinds? That would certainly be difficult, though I won't say impossible. Even an old military man like me can lean toward the side of the Dove. I have to tell you, though, the recent deal that your boss made has us thinking seriously about updating our fulcrums. Please, allow me to confer with Miss Hekmatyar. Excellent. Sounds like he's taking the bait just fine. Play the anti-aircraft missile card next. So sorry. That's your tactic? It's not very professional. Plunging into a bidding war, right off the bat. You can't even be bothered to show common courtesy to a fellow dealer in arms? Afraid not. As far as I'm concerned, you haven't earned any courtesy. This is how I see the situation, Mr. Kloshkin. I had a pasture full of cows. Then you came along and tried to slip one of your cows in to be raised with my herd. It's me. So now you want to sneak in to get your cow back. Not my fault if you get shot in the attempt. <coughs> Jonah! Better listen to her, kid. Nothing good will come from shooting me. So my intel was right. You got a child soldier on your payroll. You might actually be a bigger piece of shit than I am. Oh, look how tough she is. I know full well that you've got a team of hired guns at your disposal, but don't pull any stunts. If you do, my snipers will happily blast your head off. Hmm, would you look at the time? You're welcome to leave. Delivery of the Heinz is right on schedule. I hope in the future we can work more amiably to- <laughs> You really are stupid. Huh? My eyes. Give him a good look. Go on, take a nice long look. Stare hard enough and you'll see your own reflection, but here's the thing. I don't see you. We deal in arms, but there's more to what we do than cold steel. Our real business is with the people behind the weapons. The fuck are you ranting about? I'm glad cells are waterproof these days. Watch it! I already warned you Your once! Your snipers? Why don't you call them? Hey, Lamb. What do you think? Should I take the shot? I wouldn't do that. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah, hey boss lady. We're good, looks like we got them all. Excellent work. Pull back to the rendezvous point. One more call. Right now, your life is worth a single sheet of paper. That's right. Two lines straight through, and then sign below to show you made the changes. Done. The Heinz are now contraband. Kloshkin's contract is canceled. And has just left the Colonel's hands. Ugh. Bang! Ugh. 
Coco. Not too bad. It isn't deep. Head wounds just bleed a lot. You got lucky this time. We're all done here. Let's go home now. <laughs> So, this is what arms dealers are like. They're not at all what I expected, but I think I'll stick with them. Here I am, traveling with an arms dealer. We'll meet up with Valmet and Tojo in the next town over. We leave at nine. What did you think about working with the boss? I let her get hurt. Wasn't that part of the plan? Don't sweat it, kid. You were following Coco's orders. <laughs> Maybe if you stop worrying, you'll get the food done faster. We're starving here. Oh. Hungry bellies, hungry. This is a very significant moment for you, Jonah. With this meal, we mark your official initiation into the crew. From now on, you're part of a family. It's time for you to get used to having a team you can rely on. Never gets meal duty again. Oh, oh, oh.